If there's one reason to travel the UK, it's for our history. I wanted to experience this, and there's no better place than Edinburgh. The capital of Scotland is situated around 300 miles from me. The journey was long, but we kept ourselves entertained. TV, games, lunch, snacks, lots of snacks. The taste of Scotland. <coughs> but mainly the views. We even saw the sea. After arriving, we checked out our hotel, which included a view of the Botanical Gardens and Edinburgh Castle. We instantly came across these street performers. This quickly became a theme of the trip. After admiring some of the scenery, we headed to the Camera Obscura, one of Edinburgh's oldest tourist attractions. It includes crazy mirrors, a vortex tunnel, holograms, this room, spying cameras, rooftop views, and a mirror maze, which we nailed. I even got my head chopped off. After dinner on the Royal Mile, we headed to a bar hidden along the back streets. Day two. We had booked a day tour of some of Scotland's best views. 8 a.m. We depart Edinburgh and begin our adventure. An hour and a half later, we arrived at our first stop, where we were greeted by some friends. We were soon back on the bus and heading north. We passed alongside many mountains and locks, stopping off to take in the views along the way. The next stop was Glencoe, a large expanse of flat land surrounded by staggering mountains. It has been featured in many blockbuster movies, and you can see why. Our journey then took us to Ben Nevis, the UK's tallest mountain. The weather was so clear we could even see the top. As if the views hadn't been good enough already, our final stop was Loch Ness. We headed out on a boat. The weather couldn't have been any better. Unfortunately, there was no monsters to be seen. Maybe next time. Day 3. We headed out in search of a morning boost, and then straight back onto the mile, which is lined entirely by stunning architecture. At the top of the mile lies Edinburgh Castle. We thought this would be the perfect place to spend our final afternoon. Plus, the view wasn't half bad. Out of respect, many of the significant areas of the castle had no filming policies, such as the crown jewels and the war memorial, although there were still plenty more around the castle. So much so, that by the time we left, we only had enough time to see a few more street performers before the train home. Edinburgh was a great place to spend a few days. With its stunning architecture and so many activities to do, I don't think you could ever get bored. I definitely want to return for another adventure. <laughs>